Welcome back. Now, all healthcare workers around the world involved in the implementation of COVID-19 vaccine will need to have adequate knowledge and skills in order to ensure safe and efficient COVID-19 vaccine administration. The COVID-19 vaccination training for healthcare workers, the package was developed for frontline healthcare workers in countries. It's developed in collaboration with UNICEF. It consists of six modules, which include video lectures, quiz job aids, interactive exercises, etc. Now, Health Minister Dr. William Kieser has said that South Africa is on course to receive its first batch of vaccines at the end of the month. To find out how South African healthcare workers are being trained and their level of readiness is a Denosa spokesperson, Bongseni Delkazo. Very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. So how many of your members, firstly, how many members do you have and how many of them have received training? Uh, good evening to you, Tepisa, and to the viewers at home. Well, um, I must say the pace of um, rolling out the training for our healthcare workers is quite uh, slow. And I think I cannot bet and say any healthcare worker has been uh, taken to the training as yet. And that is extremely concerning, mm. considering that the, um, early in February, is the time that the first rollout is uh, envisaged it, to be beginning. It's concerning that, that you say that you can't say at this point that any healthcare worker has been through training. Tell us why you say that. Are you saying that the training hasn't started or it's not substantive enough for healthcare workers to feel confident in that they can administer the vaccine? It has not started and because healthcare workers are not feeling confident and they are themselves having questions that they are asking and to us, we've been concerned about that. If you remember, everybody is talking about the vaccination and is debating it, be it on social media uh, platforms. So are healthcare workers. And it is quite exciting and that we do have this opportunity, especially because healthcare workers themselves have been infected in large numbers. Mm. How but many hours of training? If, so you say it hasn't started, but you say they're not confident. So I'm still a bit confused. How many hours of training, if at all, have there been of healthcare workers in the administration of the vaccine? None. I'm asking how many hours have there been any or have there been zero? Is that what you're suggesting? There has not been any. There has not been any. Wow. So that's that, that's very concerning. Now, some of the international modules on vaccine training for healthcare staff, for instance, say they must know the programmatic implications of COVID-19 vaccines, managing uh, storage, transport and delivery of COVID-19 vaccines. Has there not been any discussion, any manual module that has been at least, even if it's um, via uh, you know, email or, or, or some sort of communication with healthcare workers, has that not occurred? I'm afraid it has not. And the slow pace of it is what worries us. Of course, healthcare workers are very curious because they are the ones who are going to be driving mm. this program, which is the biggest in this country. Now, before healthcare workers obviously do and administer vaccination, they need to be informed themselves because they need to gain the consent from patients first before they administer vaccination. It's out of their concern that they must be informed they need to be well informed before they interact with our patients. So Therefore, on the vaccine us, that is the expected, of communication is very important, episode. Mm. And, and we'll get to that because you're absolutely right. Uh, so, of this vaccine that is expected at the end of the month, do you have any information at all on that? None, none, none at the moment. And it, 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 I, I may sound as if I'm quite. Um, a route in answering it in such a short mm. way, it's a piece of No, not that at is all. I, I, I'm actually just yeah. quite taken aback myself. And we will try and reach out to the health department. We'll speak to Professor Abdul Karim later on. <laughs> so it, it's very interesting. Well, as you said, the community. Because we are the key stakeholder in health, and healthcare workers, particularly nurses, are the majority healthcare professionals, and they are the ones who are to drive the vaccination program and the pace of giving them training. If you are going to start this in February, and by now you have not started it, we're extremely concerned. We, of course, we do have our own reservations as healthcare workers. We need information to be informed. 
In fact, healthcare workers themselves are not sure about the efficacy and the quality and, you know, um, and safety of it, whereas that information needs to cascade down mm. to them so that they can be able to communicate that with patients. The pace of that happening is very concerning to us, and we hope that it does not become a second kind of lesson because even in the, on, the, on the first wave of the COVID-19 in this country, when we had it, we had a serious trouble where in terms of making nurses ready to handle this, it was very slow. Mm. Some were surprised on the day when patients were admitted in facilities that you, you, you and so you'll be caring for this patient in the, in the COVID-19 units. So let's talk about that communication campaign, which you say is indeed central to not only vaccination, but the handling of the disease. You speak about uh, um, the vaccine pessimism, which we know is there in, in many people around the world, and certainly in South Africa as well. Has the, have you been consulted on it? And also, what is the status quo of your members on receiving PPEs? Because we know that this is also one of the lagging issues from the first wave. Well, we understand that the Department of Health is in the process of rolling out the communication, mass communication campaign to communities where they will be informing them about the rollout plan of the vaccination. But of course, we as healthcare workers on our side, we're interested in getting that information ourselves so that we can cascade it down to patients as well. Fortunately for healthcare workers, because healthcare workers are the employees of government and they should be the priority in this case before you cascade it down to communities even. You asked the question about the issue of safety. We are still concerned about the issue of PPE in our facilities. Um, of course, the, the, the focus has shifted somewhat now to the issue of quality. We are extremely concerned about the quality of PPE. We are still getting complaints from our members on the ground about the poor quality of PPE that they are getting. We were happy when UCT did a study where they found that some brands of KN95 masks, which are worn by healthcare workers, the quality, mm. filtration efficacy, were quite questionable. Mm. So we are hoping that the department is improving on that. But of course, the vaccination itself is going to be an added shield, should it okay. be rolled out to health workers. Because a very it has quick proven that and final question, because we, we have run out of time. How many members has Denosa lost as a result of COVID-19? Healthcare workers have been on the front line. Well, we are losing members every day. Unfortunately, we don't have the figures because the number is not is not static. It is a moving figure. What we can tell you is that our healthcare workers are not well in facilities. They are losing their colleagues every day. Worldwide now, we've lost not less than uh, not more less than 2,500 uh, healthcare workers, nurses specifically. So the issue of protection of our care workers is very important and central to their service because without protection, they could actually become. Uh, uh, transmitters themselves. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us, uh, nurse spokesperson, Spongenseni Delishlas. And of course, we will be speaking to Professor uh, Karim at 7 p.m. to speak to him about a myriad of issues, including where we stand in the infection rate, vaccination, the training of nurses. You've heard Denosa say they have not received not a single uh, stitch of training, so which is also very concerning. If you have questions, please do send them through as well.